Hi guys, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking and driving whilst playing the old Project Cars 2. Although it's not even old, it's not even new. It's not even out. This is the press version of the game. As I always say, keep that in mind. This is not the final version. So if it explodes and the whole United Kingdom sinks into the sea, never to be seen again, it's the press version. So uh, don't worry about it too much, even if everyone dies. We're going to go and do some... Uh, Racing. Why is my microphone wobbling? The fan's blowing on it. There we go. We're going to do some racing at Silverstone GP. And we're going to be driving the Ferrari 488 GTE car. I'm just going to do a nine lap race. We've set the AI on um, sort of moderately skilled. They're on 88%. Potent aggression, 58%. We're going to be starting at the back of the grid. And we're just going to see how well we can, uh, how well we can do, really. Hopefully, we can finish the race in one piece. That'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice little early, uh, early, early birthday present. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Silverstone, of course, a absolutely gorgeous track, a mostly flat circuit, and uh, I find it's a really good track actually for getting to grips with cars when you first take them out because it's flat. You can kind of learn how the cars handling optimal conditions and it's got this flowing corners just a, a really nice track to get used to vehicles with let's um i think that's it pretty much let's just center the camera i think we're pretty much there we're just gonna jump in not even changed anything here and we're just gonna jump in and go and i have to say one of the things i really do like about project cars too is how um how quick and easy it is to actually just get in <laughs> and start driving or get get a race set up how you want it and just start driving straight away without too much fiddling and it, do, it does load up really well and it does make it really quite conducive to actually recording and uh, doing talk of drives and footage with and one of the um, big Oh god! Oh, that goes back of his car. Whoops, a daisy, a bit slow through there. One of the big reasons why I. Oh, come on. Why I tend to play a lot of a set of course on the YouTube channel isn't just because I love AC. I mean, I do really like AC, it has amazing force feedback uh, and works really nice in VR. But it actually, it just works. I can load it up, jump in, do a race, record it. And uh, there you go. It just works straight away. It doesn't tend to crash. It's very stable. It's a fantastic piece of software. And I have to say, even with this... Whoa! We've lost the back end there. Let's try and get back on the track before the whole grid goes past. Whoa! And we're back to the back of the grid. <laughs> I have to say, with Project Cars 2, even with the press version of the game that I'm using, it is really stable. It loads really quickly. And it's really easy to just get into and start racing. And this uh, Ferrari GTE vehicle, I've found out to my own pain <laughs> that uh, if you go over the limit on the brakes, the back of the car will rotate. And uh, it, it's not that forgiving in terms of how much slip you can have on the brakes before you actually just lose the back end completely and you're, and you're a hostage. So uh, I'll try and bear that in mind. I'll try and make good use of my load cell pedals. I actually noticed that with the uh, McLaren. Oh, he's coming up the inside of me. Oh, dear. Total lack of grip. The McLaren that I was driving in the earlier video that I uploaded today in Assetto Corsa, you really do have to break in a straight line with that vehicle. And it, oh, AI's had an accident. And it does have the same sort of character where if you're trail braking you have to be really careful not to lock it up whilst trail braking at tighter angles because the back of the car just goes and that's it wait wait until everyone goes past you and uh, feel sad and depressed about life oh i try and get to grips with the uh, brake points with this work our way forwards not the tightest of turning angles this vehicle <laughs> i've got my steering wheel going almost uh, upside down in the cockpit to make some of these corners 
you can uh, in a car setups in uh, Project Cars 2, you can actually go into it and change the steering lock, so you can tighten up vehicles in that regard if you want to, while still keeping your physical steering wheel, whatever rotation you want to be using. There we go. <laughs> so let's get some places back. Oh, look at that vehicle! What is that? <laughs> Half the cars in Project Cars 2. I don't know what they are, especially from behind. You'll also notice, actually, one of the settings in Project Cars 2, which I really like, is uh, when you set up a race, you uh, you can have it so that everyone's racing identical cars, but you can also have it so it mixes people with the same class. And I think SMS have actually done a reasonable job of getting lots of cars of similar classes. So, you know, if you want to do a GT race and you don't want to just feel like you're driving against a clone, you will have a GT race with a bunch of different vehicles and all the different vehicles will also have really nice individual skins and the skins that they actually, the, the liveries rather, <laughs> the liveries that they have in reality. So that, that's really nice as well as some fictional ones I've noticed. Though uh, I'm not that clued up on my uh, race car liveries to be honest. The main thing is you just notice, I mean look at this car in front, it's a uh, BMW. Whoa, count steer. Look at that. Look at who ramming into the bumper. I mean, I absolutely love VR. I know we did that video before saying it is now time to get VR. Yes, yes, it is. But just the, the sense of 3D you get from VR when you approach different vehicles. Oh, we've totally locked the wheels up there. Watch out you really get to appreciate it for people that are really sad when it comes to vehicles and appreciating car shapes and stuff you just get to see the uh, shape of the vehicles and really appreciate the shape of the vehicles and they feel tangible as if they're actually there in front of you getting carried away by what is probably uh, not that exciting for most people oh he's lost his rear he's lost his rear wing i don't know whose it is but it's uh, pirouetting Oh, through the top, come on. I should have put the AI on a harder setting. I think they seem to be trundling around these corners. Mind you, we're still 23rd out of 31, and there's a good few laps to go. So, <laughs> you definitely notice as well, actually, with the AI. And obviously, as I say, this is the press build. They have made changes to the AI. Whoa, he's, he's made a mistake, but he's collected it. One of the um, things with the AI is the you end up with these like pockets of cars. And sort of uh, gaggles, pelotons of vehicles where they're kind of racing against each other in groups, and you have a little gap, and you have the next group and the next group. Kind of, I think you probably see that in real real life in many cases. So what happens is if you put the AI on, say like 90, only the very top guys will be, you know, proper fast, and then you'll have some actually really slow guys at the back and mid-speed guys in the middle. And what that generally means is, regardless of how good you are you will normally end up finding yourself in a pack of cars and having some interesting racing. Now, as I say, they, they have tweaked the AI uh, from now, or will have, so it's probably different in the final version, but I don't actually mind it how it is now, and I hope they kept some of the aspects of it for the final version. Look at this. Aston Martin. <laughs> Not sure if we'll stick. We'll do. I'll put the brake on there. I was a bit timid. Some bumps on the track. Yanking the car around. Oh, Aston Martin's going up the inside. He's probably going to hit us. He does, but then he backs off. And I think that is a big difference between Project Cars 2 and Project Cars 1. I definitely found in Project Cars 1, the AI wouldn't... That they would absolutely smash you off the circuit. Whereas now, it seems that they don't impart as much momentum to you, or they, they, they seem to back off a little bit. Just be a little bit more chilled out from what I remember. The, the real test would be doing the go-karting. <laughs> that was insane in Project Cars 1. You'd be halfway through a race and before you know it, you'd have a go-kart driving into 130 miles an hour and launching you into space. So here we go. We've got a nice little gap here. Lap 4 of 9. Oh, come on. Stick. A little bit... Well, a little bit of understeer, but we kind of got it. Need to really load the car up into that corner and be really committed and just get it in. Like a uh, sushi chef 
<laughs> cutting up the uh, cutting up the fish, you've got to get it just right, get the angle just right, and slice into the corner. Hello, welcome to Game of Muscles Terrible Analogies. Dot com. Let's try and push onto the back of these cars. So you see, we've got an, another pack in front of us. It's slightly faster than what we were previously racing, and we've got to catch up with these guys, and then hopefully get a bit of pressure on them. I have to say as well, Silverstone, the track model, absolutely fantastic. A really, really nice track model. And I think for the most part, actually, the tracks in Project Cars 2 are, are really nicely done. They look really crisp. They have tons of details. I mean, you've got the Silverstone paddock there. You've got some guys waving flags on it. Feels really populated. You know, it looks really solid, really nice in VR, lighting on it's fantastic. Some of the tracks, I think, can be a little bit sparse. In some ways, I don't quite look as detailed as others. I think there is some variation in the tracks in Project Cars 2. But, especially the British tracks, Knock Hill, um, I'm going to remember the name, Alton Park, the, and the, the uh, Brands Hatch, any of the laser scan tracks as well. I think most of, most of the British tracks are actually laser scanned in Project Cars 2. They do look absolutely cracking and they have a fantastic sort of end visual fidelity to them that I find really convincing. Is that a Ferrari GT? Is that what we're driving? <laughs> but with a different livery on it. Whoa, I'm trying to look at his car and almost lost it. What is that? It's, it, it's like a... <laughs> I'm trying to look at this car without crashing myself. I mean, half these vehicles, I just don't know them. From, well, from visuals, especially once you've got the different liveries on them. Oh, dear, it's actually going at a moderate pace. I'm going to have to start tidying things up here. Clean your bedroom, get the car through these corners nice and smooth. What is it? I <laughs> just killed him. I, I think that is the Ferrari of some kind. I'm probably embarrassing myself. It's probably something else, but... There you go. That's my car knowledge. You uh, play Project Cars 2 and you become like a bizarre car collecting... Or a, a person with bizarre specific race car knowledge from all the different race vehicles in the game that you don't normally see in anything. Ah, oh, almost... Rear ended in there, slam on the brake. Get it round. But uh, I mean, I have to say as well, I'm, I'm saying too many positive things about Project Cars 2. <laughs> All the hardcore sim races that are determined to uh, see a Project Cars 2 as a uh, sim K title. Uh, face palming. Don't say anything good about Project Cars 2, it's illegal. Um, yes, the car selection. <laughs> there you go. I say something negative for you guys that want to hate on Project Cars 2. Something really annoying with Project Cars 2, which maybe they'll fix in the final version, but I don't think they will. Is the karate chop hand when you do tight corners and the driver's like he thinks he's the ninja the protector. Google that if you don't know what it is. Uh, here we go, look. Huh! Where's he putting his hand? Konnichiwa! What's he doing? <laughs> Yeah, I need to turn the hands off because that's really annoying in VR. They really need like a crossover animation. I guess with this car, the, the expectation is that you're not doing such weird angles, but that's a bad thing. What was I going to say? Good thing. <laughs> yeah, the hand animations. And I will check for the guy in the comments section that wanted me to check if you can turn them off whilst leaving the steering wheel on. I will double check that before the end of this video. I'll probably forget. <laughs> I'll try to remember. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the, the car selection, I have to say, is absolutely fantastic in Project Cars 2. One of the things I really like about it, and I like this with Project Cars 1, I just didn't like the handling and the force feedback in Project Cars 1. The licenses are superb. Actually, tons of, you know, race cars are struggling for a bit. Proper race cars, not, not just supercars and your bog standard race cars but you know interesting race cars different track day cars like the uh, the Palmer JPM the Radical the um, Caterham uh, Back Mono which okay that's, that's more of a track day car than a race car but still 
all these vehicles and then all the GT vehicles, the classic cars. There's a bunch of them. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. But they're just really nice race cars. And if you're into racing, it, I think they've done a really fantastic job with those licenses. That's probably, especially for people on console, actually, um, you know, compared to games like Forza and Gran Turismo, I think uh, I've not looked through the car list with Gran Turismo, GT Sport, and all the cars in Forza, but I, th I think Project Cars might be the only one to have, you know, this many specific race cars in it. So, on, on PC, the only, the only other games is obviously with a set of course you've got mods. Whoa, there goes the back again. Jeez. They need to watch out for that. As soon as you go over, that was on the throttle that time, you go over the grip. <laughs> You're going round, you need to, I need to be gentle with it. Um, yeah, on, on a set of course, you've obviously got all the mods, so there's not really a problem with that, but uh, uh, race room is quite good actually for, for actual race cars, and race room is quite good because they tend to license full series like DTM, um, you know, or WTCC and what have you. They, they do the full license so they get all the cars in the field, so you end up with really authentic races. But other than that, it's, it's quite rare to have so many actual race cars and then so many race cars that are specced up so you can race them in a, in a good field. That's the point I was getting to as we're now on lap 7 of 9, position 21 out of 31. Bloody hell I'm driving appallingly. Let's chop me to smooth things up here. This is my first time with this car at this track I believe so uh, I could be forgiven. Don't know what that is in the cockpit. Just notice uh, what looks like a boom mic. It maybe it's the uh, onboard camera or something. Attached to the race <laughs> race logic. Oh, maybe it's the um, telemetry or you know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe we should concentrate on driving rather than looking at random objects in the cockpit. We've just been given a friendly kiss on the arse there by that vehicle, probably because I was trundling. <laughs> Oh dear. But uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with the car licenses and the also the tracks in Project Cars 2. Just a number of laser scan tracks and the amount of tracks you just get in the game. And again, on console especially, I think... Um, AC is literally the only other actual... Oh, my God. <laughs> Losing the back end again. This kind of wants to follow follow itself around this car. You've got to be super gentle. Yeah, AC are, is the only other really realistic game on console. I mean, you know, Forza... I've only played the, the PC version with a steering wheel, but that is just super sluggish. Forza kind of has that Codemasters... Formula One feel to it. This is really ill-defined and sluggish. If anything, the Codemasters Formula One games are actually tighter and, in my opinion, more believable than Forza in, in terms of how the vehicles move around, obviously, the Formula cars, but still. Um, and then Gran Turismo, which... It, it, Gran Turismo, I think, has aspects to it that are, are kind of realistic. It's got that forgiving time model to it, but then there's other aspects that it just feels a little bit... Lacking in depth, I think, and again, it, it doesn't particularly feel that tight. Though, Gran Turismo, I haven't played for a long time, and I never played it with uh, pretty rubbish steering wheel. So, maybe GT Sport will be all right. So, basically, on console, you, you'll have GT Sport, Assetto Corsa, and Project Cars 2 in terms of realistic sims. And the problem with Assetto Corsa on console is... There's no tracks in the game. Final lap here. On PC, it's fine because you've got the mods, but on console, no tracks. So, you know, that's why I definitely think Project Cars 2 is easily, for people that want to do more serious racing, <laughs> if there's such a thing, I think... Oh, God. Do you want to go any slower, Bob? Oh, it's a Ford? Or is that just... <laughs> I don't know what it is. Ford GT something or other. Um... Yeah, on console, it's like Project Cars 2 seems to me to be as if it will be the sort of the the most realistic and the best simulator on, on console when you actually add it all up and all together. On PC, though, 
I think the uh, you know the other simulators do what they do incredibly well. So it's it's not the same space really. Oh dear, he's a bit a bit slow through there. Trundling trundling around this corner. <laughs> Go around the outside of him. But from my perspective, I actually quite like how Project Cars 2 fits in. I love all the weather features and the off-road stuff. And if they get all the cars up to the same level that the, the actual more finished cars that are in the press build are, then uh, I, I think most sim racers will actually quite enjoy it. Even really sort of snobby sim racers like myself, I, th I, I think they will actually be genuinely surprised by it, to be honest. Given... Oh, <laughs> we nearly lost it again. Given how bad Project Cars 1 was and people are expecting this to be the same. Come on. We're back on the tail. Oh, my God. Lap position 20 out of 31. We've had a terrible race. Apologies, guys. I guess, uh, you know, I've driven really bad on purpose so you get to see what it's like driving from the back of the grid. We'll have to do another race later. Drive from the front. Oh, there's been a pile up. We'll gain some places from that. Oh, squeeze him like a lemon. Thank you. Um, yes, there we go. Um, I'm going to go to another track and do another race in a different car. But yeah, the, the cars that are good in Project Cars 2 are absolutely fantastic fun. And uh, I, I think a lot of sim racers would be surprised. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more Talk and Drive with Project Cars 2, let me know in the comments section. Subscribe, like, dislike, and all that business. Until the next one. I can now finish my cup of tea that I made that I had to wait till the end of this race to, to be able to partake in. Goodbye.